Hi there, I'm Madiha Seher from Coders Art, and this video demonstrates one of my projects, uh, which is Food Orbit. This is an e-commerce website that makes use of Angular for the front end and uh, Spring Boot at the back end. And it makes use of MySQL database and the communication or the data to and fro happens to be with the REST API. We're making use of OpenID Connect for the authentication of the user and uh, for authorization, we make use of the Okta server. With these details, let's just see a walkthrough of the website. Uh, right now, we are in the home page. Um, we have two pages as the data is limited for now. And you see we have a login button using which we can log in. And if you see the cart, uh, we have no items in the cart. The cart is empty. We go back to the home page. Uh, we have an option to search by category. You can search by category. Or, or if not, you can also do a normal search. You can add items to the cart either by making use of this button directly, or you can also use of each food item. See the details, and if you like, then you can add to cart and go back to the food items uh, page. Okay, likewise, let's add some um, items to the cart. Now, if you see the cart gets updated, we've added three items, and the total of the three items is this amount that you see. And this is your cart, which has the food item image and the details and the quantity. And if you see, we have an option that helps us provide to either increase uh, the quantity or decrease it accordingly. Or you also have an option to remove an item if you don't want it. And you see uh, at the end, it just gives a summary of how many, what is the, what are the total food items that you've added, the total quantity and the total price of the same. You can do a checkout if you're fine with the cart item and if you want to place an order. But if you see, if you hit on the checkout option, since we haven't logged in yet, it takes us to the login page and it asks us to log in before we proceed with the checkout. Now this widget that we see here is an Okta sign-in widget. As mentioned earlier, we're making use of Okta server. So this uh, provides a feature to make use of its sign-in widget as well. So you don't have to design it explicitly. You can just take it from Okta server. All right, let's just try continue the checkout. Okay, so now you see once you sign in, it displays your name, welcome and the username and option to log out. And now you can also look into your orders that you've placed previously and this is going to be the most recent one. Let's continue with the checkout now. Since we have logged in, it will now help us check out. Before we check out, it'll ask for some of the basic details. So let's just try feeding in uh, the details. Also ask you. Yeah, you have a review to just cross check if everything is all right. And then you hit the place, sorry, purchase button and that will place an order for you. Uh, with And it will also give you an order tracking number to keep track of your orders. Hit OK and your order is placed. And since you've done a checkout, therefore your cart again goes back to zero. The, the cart becomes empty. And if you see your orders, the recently placed order would also get added to the order table, the order history. If you want, you can again book an order. If not, you can log out. So the moment you hit log out, 
your information is now not present on the website as you've logged out. So this is just a workflow of how an e-commerce website functions. Um, and it covers the basic things like the authentication, authorization, the session storage, and how the communication happens between the backend and frontend. All right, this is all about the website. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.